Here is our problem regarding admission and subtraction. We have 12.04 plus 30.8967 minus 5.1. Since we only have addition and subtraction, and there is only one rule in addition and subtraction, and that is to follow the least precise measurement. But how are we going to determine which is the least precise measurement? So we just take note of the given values. If you notice, if we are going to align these numbers in this manner, so we have 12.04, plus 30.8967 minus 5.1 and our calculator will give us 37.8367 that is the answer in our calculator now how are we going to determine what will be our final answer again for addition and subtraction take note of the least precise measurement least precise measurement so in this case our least precise measurement is 1. This is the farthest number to the left. Farthest number to the left. So we will put a line there. So which number is aligned with 1? That is 8. So that basically means that these numbers here are not significant. We are, our answer must only be an 8. The 8, 1 plus 1 is. So, take note of the next number, 8, that is 3. And since 3 is less than 5, that means this 8 must be retained. So, our final answer must be 37.8. Now, here is the trick when identifying the least precise measurement. We just have to take note of which number has the least number of decimal places. So, this has two decimal places, two decimal places, this has four decimal places, and this has one decimal place. Which has the least number of decimal places? We only have one decimal place there. So, that means our answer must only have one decimal place, right? So, we only have one decimal place. So, at the end, our answer must only have one decimal place. So our final answer is 37.8. Let's have another example concerning addition and subtraction with significant figures. So we have 512,000 plus 25,000 plus 14,819 weight well minus 6.7. Again, first step is to take note of the operations used in our problem. This case, we only have addition and subtraction. And since we only have one rule for addition and subtraction, that means we can just solve them using our calculator directly. Again, take note of the rule. When we add and we subtract, we must follow the least precise measurement. So how are we going to identify the least precise measurement? Last time I told you that the trick is just to identify the least number of decimal places, okay? However, we cannot do that trick here. Why, sir? First, this has um, one decimal place, the seven. This has two decimal places. However, this number does not have a decimal place. And this number does not have a decimal place. So that means we cannot follow the trick which is just identifying the decimal place. So we will uh, align this number. So we will align the numbers in this manner. So we have 500,000 plus 25,000 plus 14,890 plus 6.7. And your calculator, if you are going to solve that using your calculator, your calculator will give you 550. 1880.02 But what will be our final answer? Again, our final answer must only contain the least precise measurement. Least precise measurement. As I said, we cannot use the trick by identifying the number of decimal places. So what are we going to do is to identify the last number, the last number of our measurement. This is the last number of our measurement. This is the last significant number. This is the last significant 
significant number of our measurement is the last significant number is the last significant number. And then identify which of those numbers is the farthest to the left. See, we P na makalayo to the left. Okay? So, P na makalayo to the left is E2 at C5. Tama? C2 at 5 ang P na makalayo to the left. So, we'll put a line in this case. So, dapat, ang sakot natin hanggang dito lang. Okay? Hanggang dito lang dapat. Kasi yan yung least precise natin ng measurement. Diyan lang, hanggang dyan lang tayo certain. Okay? Yan lang yung precision natin eh. So, hanggang dyan lang dapat tayo. Now, identify or take note of the number after 1. In this case, that is an 8, which is greater than 5. So, at gagawin natin kay 1. That means, we must round our 1 up. Agang up siya. That will be 552. Ito yung problema minsan. Kasi yung final answer ng mga students, ito na, 552. Now, what if meron akong pera? Ibigay ko sa'yo pera. Ibigay ko sa'yo na pera is 551,880.02. Tapos sasabihin ko sa'yo, okay, since uh, kailangan na natin ng three significant figures, at ibigay ko lang sa'yo 552. Kaya ka? Of course not. Nakapakayo ng 551,880 sa 552. Tama? So, anong gagawin natin dito sa tatlo ito? We will write a zero. That is the purpose of zeros. They will act as place holder. Para tao sa tanin. Okay? Ay ko, klaro. Let's have another problem regarding addition and subtraction. We have 3508.12 plus 60.10 minus 2.3002. We only have addition and subtraction in this problem. So that means we will just follow the rule which is the least precise measurement. The next time, if we can use our chain by identifying the least number of decimal places. This is two decimal places. Two decimal places. This is two decimal places. And this has five decimal places. So all of our numbers have decimal places. So that means we can use our chain by identifying the least number of decimal places. So if we are going to solve this number using our calculator, it will give us 3565.91988. But what will be our final answer? Remember, addition subtraction is precise measurement. So we can do our trick by identifying the least number of decimal bases kasi sila lahat ay mga decimal bases. Since the least number of decimal bases is 2, that means our answer must only have 2 decimal bases. So dapat dalawa decimal bases tayo. 1, 2. So that means hanggang dito tayo sa 1. Okay? So our final answer must be uh, so hanggang dito tayo sa 1. Next, take note of the number next to 1. In this case, this is 9, which is greater than 5. So that means, we must have 1 up. So our final answer will be 3, 5, 6, 5, point, 92. So that's it.